Okay, let's give you an overview of some of the radio tuning features that are part of the latest version of the app. Um, currently we've got a flight plan at an in indoor EFIS, and there it is, EFIS flight plan, Grand Rapids to Traverse City via the Traverse City VOR. If I want to tune my radio, jump over here, tuning, and the radio is currently tuned to the wrong place. So I want to I wanna listen into uh, the ATIS, and there's Grand Rapids ATIS. I uh, will set that into my standby. There it is. Swapper, and there we go. We got the ATIS tuned now. And um, I uh, then call up clearance delivery, and there we are. I got clearance delivery, and, and they advise me that I'll be using uh, the uh, departure frequency of 128.4, and there's two to choose from in Grand Rapids. I'm both confusing to me because they have even numbers. I have a problem remembering which one they always tell me. So I have the ability to turn on a little checkbox that give me the reminder. That's the one I'm going to be using. When it comes time to, to tune it, I will see, sure enough, there's the one I want. Pop it in there and I got it. At this point, though, I want to talk to ground. I'll put ground in there. And you can already see how easy it is to to tune your radio. Here at my destination, the frequencies are ordered in the opposite order, so it's going to show me, uh, it does show, still show me ATIS first as I approach my destination, but then tower appears before the, uh, the ground frequency does, so I can get my tower tuned in and talk to those guys, and then uh, I get on the ground, I'm all set, I just pop the ground in there and I got it. Very convenient. Um, we have a recent list you know, we'll, you know, on the way home, you'll be using the same frequencies probably, so they're there if you want to pull them up. If you have your favorites, you can enter in your favorites, and you can go to your favorites list. There's my saved ones. Ah, nothing saved. Let's go save one. Let's just, I, I like to listen to weather, so let's, uh, let's save this one. So we'll, we'd have to long click on that, add to my saved. Now I'll go to my list, I go to my saved. Sure enough, there it is. Very handy, I got my ATIS in there, like I like it, and it's tuned. The lists also include nearest weather, and then a nearest controller. If you need want to talk to a controller, you just click that, and it's going to order them by distance, and it shows you the distance and the direction that that controller is from you. You get yourself a little bit of trouble and you need some help, there, there you go. Um, of course, weather is also available, and it shows also the direction and the distance to the station and the direction is relative to your current um, ground track so it makes it really easy to find weather that's in front of you that's more pertinent than weather behind you so sure enough I want to listen to something in front of me and I look down here hey there's one 51 nautical miles I'll click on that and now I can there it is 51 I'm 51 miles south of Robin Hood and I know that means it's uh, you know it's right in front of me we can uh, tune manually if we want to. It can, the old-fashioned way can be handy if you've memorized frequencies. I find I don't use this much because uh, I'm not that good at memorizing, so I end up using the list to pull things up. My route. Um, and then when we're back to our route, my favorite place to be. Here we go. Um, you know, control the radio here also for the, the volume. We got the volume. And we have a couple of handy features. One thing I found is I prefer to set the volume on my radio to a particular setting and that usually satisfies you for most, most parts of the flight. And with my old radios, I was always turning the knob trying to find that location. My uh, Garmin 430 didn't even show an index on the volume control knob, so I couldn't even visually set it. I had to always tune and listen. So uh, in this case, I, the app has a preset that you can define. So I, if I have it up too loud or whatever, I hit my preset and it jumps to wherever it is. If I want to change my preset, I just hold that and I got it. A yeah, very handy feature, you know. So, and also handy, I'm I'm flying along and I'm done talking to controllers and I want to just get rid of the background noise of my radio. I can just mute it, and when I unmute it, it's going to go back to the volume level I had before. Squelch also kind of a handy feature. Well, if I turn the squelch off, now I can hear the distant stations easily. If I want it on, I can set the level also. Whoops, there, squelch is on. 
uh, monitor function, you can see that the frequency is in green when it's active. If I turn the monitor on, that one turns green also to indicate you're going to be monitoring both at the same time. Provided the radio is capable of that, it'll, the, the app will automatically detect what your radio is capable of doing. And there we go. A little overview of the radio tuning.